Now, let me share with you about passive income and royalties. So royalties are what you get when your books are sold. But I have to hasten to add that um, I don't think there's really, really super duper passive income because you know you have to do something. You have to you have to also market definitely. But you don't really need to trade your time with dollars. You don't like you're not being paid by the R. And you know what they say: you make money while you sleep. Actually, that that can happen if you set it up right. Um, so. Uh, the good thing about this type of, of product is that every time you change the format, that's another source of income. So right now, my book is up on Amazon. So that's a Kindle version. That one has its own um, earnings. But when I set up the audiobook, which I launched last February 25, that's another source of income. And um, I was very pleasantly surprised to find out that my very first sale was to a library um, for audiobooks. Uh, there is a platform called Find the Way Voices. And if you use this platform, it is more of an aggregator, which means that if you use it, you can distribute to more than 40 different, um, different uh, sites for audiobooks. I'm talking about Barnes and Noble, Biblioteca, Amazon also, there's Google, there's Kobo. And, and you know, a, a lot of you, depending on where you're at in the world if you are uh, American or you're based in the US like my good friend Joanne then of course a lot of these are familiar to her um, when you when you talk about overdrive etc Th these are these are um, uh, distributors that sell to libraries so so what I'm saying is you put the book in one platform, and because it's an aggregator, this audiobook aggregator is going to distribute it for you to more than 40 distribution outlets, of course, including Amazon. Um, so that's one of the things uh, that has been very helpful. And um, so, plus the fact that audio is hot right now. So, and then POD, that means print on demand. So print on demand, um, again, uh, this is more popular in the US uh, and Amazon fulfills print on demand. So I also opened my book for print on demand. And the reason that I did this was I actually, I spoke in Chicago and um, somebody in that class, her name's Jamie McLean. She's also an image consultant and um, she's based in the United States. Uh, she emailed me later on and said, Delps, I have a student and um, I told her to get your book, but she doesn't, she doesn't like to get an ebook. She wants the real book and I'm based in the Philippines. So it just happened that I was gonna go to New York at that time. So, okay, so, so I said, I'm gonna be go in New York at this time. I'm going to go and physically uh, deliver, bring this book to the post office. Okay, and then her student said, Delps, can, can, can I also buy the workbook? Because when I taught this class, um, I had a workbook for the, the participants. So what I'm saying is when you look at all of these passive income sources, if you have a companion workbook or an activity workbook, guess what? That's another source of income. So that POD book was actually inspired by an image consultant. And, and so that means that they will print 
Amazon will print the book only when it's when somebody purchases it. So um, moving forward, this is an example of the different the different um, formats that I chose to sell my book. There's the paperback version or the 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 um, old fashioned one with paper and then there's the kindle version so this one is going to um uh link with amazon then there's the audiobook version so um for the audiobook version i chose to connect with authors direct authors direct is actually a service of find a way voices where e e the the um, split uh, between find the way voices and the author is bigger so you get more of the more of the earnings and there's a one time fee i believe i paid 75 dollars because when you use find the way voices which is the audiobook aggregator you are going to be sharing with the distribution point and then from the result you're going to be sharing with um with find the way voices but still at the end i mean you're still going to make money so that that's the bottom line and um they're gonna send it to you every you know you get a report so that that's um it makes things easier you know and then of course there's the print on demand version so okay um uh, i told you about authority number one i told you about um you know income streams so let's talk about content creation because as of now content creation i think is one of the things that we have to do if we want to build our business unless you want to be um buried in in all of all of the information and social media etc happening but when we do content creation and like they say content marketing um giving value to to our our target audience you know it 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 really helps in our branding it helps in our personal branding it puts you top of mind gives you a lot of visibility and you know what they say visibility leads to credibility and well if you do it right and it leads to profitability so i think content creation is one of the best ways we could use our time and when you write your book it gives you this um I wouldn't say never ending supply of content but you can repurpose the content so many ways um you, you, just to give you an example we've chopped up the books and then my book has um has drawings so we we work on drawings for that book they were hand drawn etc before they were dig digitized and um including the drawing we we chopped them all up and 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 then when i read it actually to do the audiobook i decided not to get a narrator i narrated it myself and i have a very good reason for doing that which we can talk about later but for purposes of this section content creation each um snippet of audio you know you cut it to one and a half minutes etc that's already content so what i'm saying there's so many ways to, to repurpose the content you actually have a treasure trove of content so you're not gonna go out of your head looking at what i'm going to share then this is very important um one of the ways a book can really help you and it it has for me is because you can always use the book as a lead magnet and i'm not talking about offering the book for free 
of course, if you want to do this in exchange for their email address so that you can build a relationship with your 1,000 true fans or your, your tribe or your readership, that's perfectly fine. In my case, the, the audiobook has an embedded free gift. And that embedded free gift, when you click on it, it's going to take you to a landing page that has um, information requests of you, like your email, etc., so that we can send you that personal branding starter kit. Um, the book is about eight steps to a personal brand makeover for impact, influence, and income. So the lead magnet is all ab about the same topic. It's a personal branding starter kit where I have questions that you, you go through so that you get to reflect where you're at in your branding journey. So um, when they click on it, it, it gives you the opportunity to have their email address and start a relationship with them. Okay. Then this is one of the really, really important points. That's why I left it for last. So you sell products and services. So this talks about um, using it for paid speaking engagements. Um, normally, a speaker with a book will always, well, it's not always, but it's an advantage to have a book. Most speakers have a book. If not, it's going to be helpful if you have a book. So, and then for coaching, actually, this is one of the low hanging fruits. And this one was one of those that helped me when I pivoted because of this pandemic. So now coaching has been one of my sources of, of income. Um, so it's online and later on in the next slide i'm going to be sharing with you how important a book was uh, in terms of the point of view of a prospective coaching client i had but it did matter in his own words and then of course there are courses this book um has a course attached to it, a course which I have been refining and refining and refining. If I'm not mistaken, Joanne was in that class in Chicago. So I'm not gonna ask you, say yes, Joanne, because I know it's a yes. And, um, but the good thing is when, when, you, when you hold those courses, you get feedback so you can, you can um, keep on, improving it and improving it. And um, also uh, this one, I'm not only talking about courses like for you to, to speak at in, in AICI conferences. Um, uh, when this book first came out, one of the first clients was actually a bank and that bank asked me to please do this um, course for them. So I was wondering why, why were they asking me to do it for retail, um, not retailers, real estate people. So uh, it turns out they have a broker circle and the, the broker circle were the top sellers. And when they sell property, they sell condominium units, whatever. When they put it in the bank for borrowing, of course, those are loans. And loans are money-making um, avenues for the bank. So that was why um, in this particular case, they were asking for that, um, that course because it would help their, their top sellers, brokers, position themselves, sell, sell their products and services more by branding themselves better. So, and then lastly, merchandise. So they call that merch. So that's where you see there are some uh, authors that have t-shirts, cups, etc. And to give you an example, do you see Petunia at the back? 
Jana, can you see Petunia at the back? Yes, I can. Okay. So actually, um, this is funny because when I was invited by, hmm, I think that was Malaysia or was it Tokyo? It's either Malaysia. I, I, I went to Tokyo. I went to Malaysia and I spoke um, and, and it was related to the course. And uh, they wanted to buy Petunia. And I said, Petunia is not for sale. <laughs> so that gave me an idea. Hmm, maybe I should think about, um, you know, merch. That's uh, something that I'm uh, thinking of right now. Not to mention, if I go into lipstick, that one is also considered merch. Okay, moving forward. This is the client testimonial I was telling you. If you want to see who and what the whole testimonial is, you just go to my website. That's www.reinventyou, as in the letter U, dot net. You're going to see who exactly said this, but I had to chop it up because, um, you know, it's going to clutter my slide. So I got in touch with her. That's me. Due to her reputation, international recognition as branding and business coach, and because she is going all in into the image consulting world, having authored a book, and dot, dot, dot. So I plan to continue engaging her in a business coaching capacity. So why am I sharing this with you? Because I recently, I, I shared with you that um, coaching was a low hanging fruit for me. I had I had studied this, and when I asked, actually, when I asked this person, the, the person is uh, European. Okay, actually, he's German, and I asked him what was the process of him actually um, getting in touch with me. And when I was digging through the details, it turns out that after he checked the website, et cetera, he actually Googled and it came out that I had written a book. So apparently for him, it matters because it signals, it signals authority and it signals um, that you are playing all in. Um, right now, uh, after a first uh, four month session, four month coaching session that was dealing more with image and and all the the things related to visual communication um, he rebooked me until the end of the year so i have a coaching um, engagement with him until the end of the year it's more of branding and business so that is uh, the result of well the book helping 